The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Joined by CN Swim Coach Jordan Taylor on the Eagles Sports Network. I'm Tanner Swift as the CN Swim team gets set for their first dual meet with Limestone this weekend. And Coach, you've had some opportunities with competition between the inner squad scrimmage and the open water series. What kind of preparation have you have you prepared your team coming into this week and now getting into some real competition here? Um, as far as this weekend, it's uh, it's a first stepping stone of the season, essentially. Uh, really excited to open up our season with Limestone. Um, a, a coaching staff that I know really well, we're, we're really friendly with. Um, they provide a really good competition. Um, we enjoyed having them here last year, and uh, we're looking forward to making the trip down there on, on Saturday. But as far as preparation for the meet, um, we've got some bigger uh, meets in the season. Our, our main focus isn't until November, so right now um, the, the team are working super hard. Um, arguably the the, the, the hardest they've kind of worked since I've been here in the last uh, three years, and they're getting pretty tired, especially this week, um, having multiple weeks of back-to-back -back hard, hard work, um, both in the weight room and, and in the pool. And uh, so we're going to this meet a little bit tired, um, but I've done that on purpose. I want them to race under fatigue, um, expect them to step up, um, execute great uh, racing skills, even though they're, they're tired. Um, because at the end of your races, um, even when it comes to conference and nationals, you're going to be tired. You're going to be pushed to the limits um, by some of the top competition. And if you can't execute skills when you're tired, then you're not going to get your hand on the wall first. So um, that's what this weekend is really about, is uh, going in there as a team, our first uh, team event. Everyone together, blue and orange, and now combined. And we're, we're going there as Carson and Miss Women. And, uh, just have a great, great day. Uh, enjoy our, our first meet. Give the freshmen an opportunity to see what Carson and uh, dual meets are like, um, and kind of step up in that environment. So the freshmen have got a, a number of events this weekend. Um, again, just to test them out a little bit and, and see how they're doing, and um, really just to kick things off in a positive way. And um, I think we'll take a step forward from the inner squad meet. We'll be a little bit faster than that, and uh, even though we're, we're more tired, um, and that'll start us on, on the road for the rest of the season. You mentioned knowing the limestone coaching staff pretty well, and you've raced against them every pretty much every year for the last few years. What yeah. can you expect from them, or what what challenges will they bring to you this weekend? Um, with limestone, like the, um, the the coaches there, I've, I've known them the last uh, couple of years, and we hung out at nationals a little bit last year. They had multiple male athletes uh, there, and um, with the especially on the guys side, they're they're a super strong team. Um, they haven't had the uh, the number of athletes that we've had in the past, but they have some uh, real top end quality um, athletes who are going to be expected to go to nationals, and they've had multiple All Americans over the last uh, um, couple of years. So they're a very talented team, a very strong team. They're very strong on the, um, on the relays. That's one of, kind of one of their specialities, um, and it's something that Carson Newman's been known for over the last couple of years, especially on the men's side, um, as far as our dual meets and stuff are, are concerned. And so. With a new freshman being added into those relays, I want to keep that tradition going and see if uh, our uh, our guys team can really step up. And, and that, for me, is, is a big focus this weekend, is winning those two relays. We've got the 200 medley relay and the 400 freestyle relay. And I really love for our guys to get victories in both those events. Um, and now on the girls' side, um, in the past, they haven't been as strong as our girls' team. And I mean, our girls' team ranked 16th in the country. There's um, not a lot of great opportunities for us to kind of really push them right now, but um, they're going there to execute the best they can. I, I really want them to go all out. I, I don't care if they're going to win it by 25 or they're going to win it by half a second. I want it to be a real, uh, real battle all the way to the wall and push each other and, and take a step forward from what uh, the inter-squad inter -squad meet, meet was a couple weeks ago. Coach, good luck this weekend and thank you. Oh, thanks very much. He's swim coach Jordan Taylor. I'm Tanner Swift and this is the Eagles Sports Network.